experience. Yeah. What's up, guys? Right now, we're at the top of Crabapple Hits, one of the most infamous trails in Whistler. Has the biggest jumps in the bike park and uh, is known for hosting the World Whip Off Championship. This trail is a little bit special to me because when I was 14, I first entered the Whip Off World Championships and won, and then again when I was 16. So right now, I'm going to take you down, teach you how to whip, and hopefully you can take some pointers into your own riding and uh, improve your skis. All right, guys. So right now we're at the top of Crab Apple Hits, and before we get into doing any stuff with whips, we're going to do a full run through the trail, and I'm going to show you what's new. So dropping hand here. They've changed a few things this year, starting with this little squirrel catcher into a left hip, Woo! and then a right hip over some rocks, followed by this new left hip, which is super flowy. And uh, big step down into the old trail now. Coming up into the lift jump a bit windy today. Doesn't matter. Throw it out there. And step on, step on. Woo! Those are all the jumps on Crab Apple right now. Um, let's go back up and I'll get into some whips for you guys. We are standing at the base of the lip of the whip off jump and I'm gonna break down my whips for you and how to get as steezy as possible off the lip. Today it's a little bit windy, so it's a bit hard to throw down, but um, you gotta train in all weather conditions, prepare for the worst. Step one is starting your whip and starting with a carb. I whip out to the right hand side, so to start your whip, you move all your body weight, sort of you tilt it into the left and into the lip, and then that creates momentum and allows you to start your whip even before you've gone off the lip, and it makes it easier to get more sideways and more dumped out. Step two starts at the top of the lip. Right when you leave the lip, I, there's three different methods you could probably use. The one where you turn your bars in like this and press over with your top side hand. The other one would be to pull up and then start your whip. But because I'm a racer and I come from racing, I kind of do more of a scrub boda style whip. And that starts with me kind of pressing off the lip, doing a bit of a tabletop. I bring my top side hand kind of into my body and press with my outside hand. I table the bike out and push with my legs. And as I do that, my bike sort of starts a tabletop and becomes flat like this. And when I get to my maximum sidewaysness, I kind of stand the bike up and that makes it look more dumped out and more sideways. A bit more steez and flavor to the whip, you know? You can almost taste it. Step three is this entire middle part of the jump. As I was saying before, as soon as you get to your maximum sidewaysness, you kind of move your weight forward and you tilt the bike up. And then from there, which is a pretty important part to get you back to straight, you need to move all of your weight forward towards the landing and push down on your top side hand and sort of bring your legs through. Step four of doing a really nice whip is to have a straight landing. A lot of people forget to do this or just, I don't know, neglect it. But I think for me, landing straight is pretty important. So as I said, you push down on that outside hand and as you do that, you shift your weight and turn the bars back and that should move all your weight down and then uh, look to where you're going into the next jump and your whole bike should just follow you and come to straight. Very important part of whipping because if you land sideways, you can crash, you can go through a lot of rims. Step five, right away, Mad Sally with the boys. Um, come back up, I don't know, throw your helmet, do like a dope backflip thing. That's basically how to do a nice whip a steezy whip, a consistent whip, and uh, that's how I tricked judges two times into voting for me to win Whip Off World Championships on this exact jump. I hope this helped you guys. I mean, the only way to get better at this is to practice, so get out there, ride your bike, have some fun, and uh, do it with your friends.